The Mastodon is, the Mastodon is an elephant. The Mastodon is not an elephant. One, two, three, take me out to the ball game. The Mastodon is a Mastodon, an elephant, an elephant, uh, but the Mastodon. Take me out with the crowd, buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. The Mastodon, the Mastodon, the Mastodon. Senator Bro, uh, explain my vote. I, I know you don't want me to, Senator Sharpano, but uh, I'm going to anyway, so indulge me. Mastodon, the Mastodon, brochure of the Mastodon. Our Mastodon, I think, is, is a more impressive fossil than our T-Rex. I don't care if I ever get back for its root, root, root for the cubbies, cause they know when it's a shame. Mastodons are the Mastodon. What about mammoths and Mastodons? Woolly mammoth, the mammoth. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Let's talk about fairness in sports. So what are the reasons that this bill says that we have an unfair advantage in our own sports? One big one is the argument about muscle mass. First of all, I'm flattered. Thank you very much. Mastodon is built like a tank. Two elephant, the Mastodon. Mammoth, mammoth, the Mastodon. Because we're not careful. Somebody's gonna come back next year or year after and have one of us as the fossil. <laughs> mammoth Americanum, the mammoth and, and, and Mastodon. Mammoth, the bison, the buffalo. Mastodon, moose, the Mastodon. For it's one, two, Three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Thank uh, the Mastodon. Mastodons. The Mastodon. Mastodons. Certainly as an old Republican, I have some kinship. Mastodon. The Mastodon, the most famous Mastodon in the world. Mastodon. The apologies to the Carlin Park Elementary School in, in Angola who wanted a mollusk or something. I will, I will vote aye. The bill passes seven to zero. There is a disconnect and I agree with you. I think the, there's a bipartisan opposition to the original House Bill 1134 that many of my colleagues, even on the Republican side in the Senate, we're not sure that they can even support it. And that tells you a lot. That tells you that there's so much work that you know went into the amendment that I appreciate, but I have very serious concerns. Among those concerns, some of the language is actually still in the amendment. When we talk about the differential treatment based on race, religion, ethnicity, all of that, um, this still have the element of uh, the chilling effect, the censorship effect that we opposed in Senate Bill 167 in our previous conversations. Um, the idea that the, the parent concern, I'm a parent, many of us are parents in this room, uh, we want our kids to be involved, but when I go to my physician, um, I, I didn't earn an MD. Um, I can't replace an MD when they give me an advice, but I can decide whether or not I can accept that advice. And same with our teachers, same with our students. We cannot replace our teachers with my, um, my views just as a parent. If this bill was about local control, which I think that was the point that Senator Rogers said, it brings it back. We have something we call your local school board. So local control already exists. And if it exists, if our parents are unhappy with their school district, they can fire the school board the next election and bring somebody else. So I will continue to work with you till the last end of this process, um, despite my opposition to this bill and my concerns on the amendment. Uh, but I hope that we, we collectively come to an agreement that this bill is generating so much anxiousness among our 60,000 plus educators in the state of Indiana. And if we're not getting this message, I don't know what else. So I appreciate you. I look forward to working with you. And we will uh -huh.